enjoying lockdown? Oh yeah, big time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. What have you been up to? Nothing much. Went to the shops today. Get hyped. Sam's big day out. It's a big, big trip to the shops. <laughs> big adventure. <laughs> uh, hello, everybody. Watch them. We're gonna uh, just answer some questions um, about we're still kids and just generally more about kind of us a little bit. Get to know you guys. Um, so thanks so much to everyone who's sent some questions in. We've got a list of them here that we're just gonna sort of plow through um so the first question is from uh joe marsh who record he was um our, our producer on on we're still kids and the songs that we got coming up as well um joe asks how did the song idea come about and what's your writing process melody or music first um thanks for the question joe uh so i'm kind of the main songwriter for the for the band um and then sam and matt sort of we kind of winterized Justin. Yeah, chip in, winter, winter, winterize right? the tunes in rehearsals. <laughs> yeah. I, I quite often just do random like voice notes on my phone for new song ideas. And the very first idea I had with this song was uh, was the uh 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 oh uh, 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 bit. Um, and I remember singing it in my in my toilet because I like singing <laughs> in the bathroom. Uh, acoustics are always better. In the yeah, <laughs> yeah, That's exactly. So yeah, great acoustics. <laughs> That's the thing. Uh, so uh, yeah, I just thought I'd play it to you. This is like. Yeah, have a listen. It's like not quite how it panned out and excuse the tuning, I was literally singing into the mirror. So yeah, this, but this is the first idea I had for this song. <laughs> Do you like that I kind of add, added like a... Like a an, 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 an idea of a drum fill. Oh, God. Why, why do I even need to be in this band? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Matt were actually talking about that. Yeah, we were. Oh, we joined. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, so that was, uh, the, and that's quite unusual. I don't normally start with like a riff like that kind of thing, but it just, that, and then I kind of, I'm, I'm not, I'm a bit crap at like sitting down and being like, I'm going to write a song, which definitely I should be better at. Like, but I just sort of write a song when it comes to me. Lyrically, like, I just, like, just bored of being an adult. And I was just like, bored of doing grown up things. Yeah, basically. And yeah. like, that's where it came from, from that. And uh, I tend to just write, like, sort of play. So I, for this song, I worked out the chords that fit around that riff and then sort of mumbled some lyrics over the top and it sort of gradually came came about. You came to us with the verse and the first, yeah, the first half of the chorus and the, and the uh, rhythmic hook. And then we kind of just uh, revolved around that, really, and added our own little bits and it just happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's quite natural. It was. I find it like quite often the best songs. I don't know. I don't know if this is the best song. <laughs> the best song. Uh, <laughs> the best song. Uh, this is our best song. We're never going to beat it. Don't need time for anymore. Just... No, there's no need. No need. You've heard everything we've got. That's good. So, um, no, the best songs sort of come just quite quickly and quite naturally. So yeah, and we sort of and we changed. I remember. I think Matt was recording bass on the day, and then me and Sam were like, "Shall we change the lyrics to the second verse?" And then, yeah. and so we just sort of yeah changed the lyrics to the second verse right before mm. I recorded them. So uh, yeah, it was kind of down to the wire, but yeah, I think it panned out quite nicely, really. It is, yeah, yeah. Um, so I hope that answers your question, Joe. Thanks very much for that one. Richard asked, "What guitar do you play on We're Still Kids?" Um, I use two. Re- two guitars, two electric guitars and an, an acoustic um, for the tracks that we've got coming up in the next few weeks and months. Um, for this song, I think I just used my um, Fender Telecaster. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really nice to I've had it for, um, I don't know, ages now um, but I really really like it um, and it's I use this for like the cleaner kind of st- slightly kind of brighter kind of sounds on the on the recordings. The other one that I used on other songs um, was this Jazzmaster, um, American Fender Jazzmaster. And uh, this has sort of got a slightly grubbier, kind of dirtier, dark tone to it. So, um, and I'm a little bit crap with that sort of thing. So Joe Marsh, our, our producer, helped with like saying, oh, how about a bit of this guitar for this bit? So that was yeah, nice. he, he was pointing us in the right direction. And also, Matt, he got, he got you to play a, 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 a different bass. bass, didn't he? Yeah, because yeah, obviously I had my, my Squire bass. I uh, hooked it up and he was like, I actually use this one. I don't know what make yeah. that one was. Uh, yeah, just one he had in the studio, wasn't it? Yeah, so I think it was quite nice actually. Yeah, because it just it just had like a, it was a bit more like puzzle a cleaner sound. Yeah, 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 it has a bit more. Yeah. Uh, what did you? What drums did you use, Sam? Uh, I used to. They had some at the studio. There's some really nice Pearl Master ones, so like really nice, well built ones. And he knew what he was doing, like tuning wise. I just got in, and thankfully he was just like, 
he was, he was like, this is what you're going to be doing. Because <laughs> yeah. he, he obviously looked at the uh, demos we sent him and was like, this is the sound we should go for. And I went in and I was just like, perfect, I'll use these symbols. So, and that was, li- it was like literally as simple as that. And then we just cracked on with um, recording as soon as I got it set up the way I wanted it to be. Nice. Yeah. So handy having a producer that knows how to do that. Kind of <laughs> yeah. <stuff. laughs> Sounds really, like we're an advert. <laughs> yeah. I was also, also really <laughs> crap at tuning drums as well. So I was like so thankful that he could tune them for me. <laughs> uh, this, this, this video is sponsored by Joe Marshall. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Joe <Jim. laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Thanks for that one, Richard. Uh, so we've got a few questions now from, from Pippa and her friend. Um, I'm, I'm afraid I don't have your name, Pippa's friend, but thank you for these questions. Um, the first one is, what would your advice be for someone who wanted to start a band? You just got to look slightly and ask around. But most of the time, musicians want to play with other there's musicians lot, anyway. There's places where like Facebook pages and stuff. Yeah. Like- if you're really yeah. if you're really desperate like you can like just be like i want to find a guitarist who plays lots of led zeppelin and then yeah. you're bound to find yeah. someone who would be like i like led zeppelin too <laughs> yeah yeah i think that's a really good idea and like but make sure it works like in terms of the chemistry i really believe like the chemistry between band members makes a oh, huge yeah. difference to the sound and um yeah. you know it's really lucky that we all get on really well yeah. and uh, <laughs> yeah i think it does make a big big difference to the sound um so yeah make sure you get on with everyone and make sure they're good at what they do and they want to you know they want to do it they want the same yeah they want to do the same thing as you kind of do definitely uh next one from pippa and pippa's friend was uh if you can meet anyone who would it be uh dave grohl (laughs) dave grohl dave grohl why (laughs) sam uh love him just lovely man lovely nice man really easy to get along with and he's obviously an amazing front man and drummer that's fair <laughs> matt do you know who you'd meet ah oh, so mine, mine would probably be someone from history i think <laughs> Grow up, matt. yeah i know what can i say <laughs> um oh, i don't know george washington i think he's a pretty cool guy from what i've heard <laughs> sure. i wouldn't have guessed <laughs> you know, that not, through not music related but uh i still quite like to meet him anyway that's anyway. quite cool i think i would meet up um, a bit <laughs> Matthew Murph Murphy from um, and you guys know that I'm I'm a big fan of uh, the Wombats and Love Fame tragedy mm-hmm. and I don't know just since I was like I don't know 13 uh, I remember I was sat in his very room because I'm currently <laughs> staving up for a deposit with my at my parents' house and uh, this used to be my bedroom <laughs> but anyway um, yeah I know just like I just watched like Kill the Director the video just over and over again just since then, I just love his music and um, yeah anyway. <laughs> Uh, question five uh, from Pippa who did you all meet uh, sorry not who how <laughs> That's, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna <laughs> reading how did you all meet and decide to start a band um, thank you Pippa so um, I got a job as a music technician um, at a school um, after finishing uni where Matt and Sam were still studying music and uh, and then we kind of didn't see each other for a few years um, maybe like two years after that two years I think yeah, yeah, about two years, yeah. and, and then uh, you did a concert together yeah me and matt uh, were doing a concert together and i said oh hey matt uh, i want to start a band you play, uh, you bass, play bass. You? Yeah. and matt was like yeah do you know a drummer and then yeah matt was like <laughs> um we just had some rehearsals i'd had like three songs i think that i'd recorded before yeah. just as demos yeah. and uh, we went from there and yeah we got a few in yeah. the a few in the bag now yeah, yeah we've got nice. yeah we've, uh, we've got a few more to oh actually Now a few more coming out, which leads us on to our last questions. Look at that. Look at that for a subway. Subway? Segway. Subway. (laughs) Subway. Uh, And our last questions, we had two kind of similar ones, so we're just going to group them together. Uh, From Georgia, we had, when are you guys releasing more stuff? Need more. Uh, And then Tom said, uh, when's the next song coming out? Our next song is going to be coming out on the 20-something of May. So look out for that. Uh, yeah. And um, yeah, we're, we're super excited for it. We really think it's another, another bang. Another banger, yeah. <laughs> banger. Uh, it's uh, it's going to be available to pre-save again. And we're thinking of doing like a t-shirt giveaway or something um, yeah. with that. So uh, look out for that. And we'll keep it on, put it on Facebook when it's all ready to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, yeah, get hyped. Thanks so much, 
uh everyone for like your support with we're still kids and i'm really it seems like everyone's enjoying it so far so we're yeah. really really pleased uh about that um and it's been lovely to have your messages and stuff if there's any other questions yeah. as well that weren't asked today that you'd really like to know leave messages, a comment yeah um below the video um like and subscribe make sure to hit that notification bell i've never said that before <laughs> and i'm really excited to say it uh, <laughs> So, yeah, uh, thanks so much, and we'll be in touch. Bye-bye. See you later.